Hello to you, everyone. Welcome to another virtual lesson. I'm Svetlana Kotovanaval, and we are going to work today together. So, I would like to invite you today in the world of shopping. We are going to learn new vocabulary words related to the topic shopping and use them in the context to speak about places we can buy different things, read the dialogue and answer the questions, make up a dialogue on the topic shopping for fruits or vegetables using the useful expressions, remember the possessive pronouns and complete the tasks, write about the last shopping following the given questions. Let's start with some pictures and the questions. Do you like shopping? Why yes? No. What do you like to buy? What's your favorite supermarket? Why? If we look at the people in the picture, we can see that they are happy and satisfied of, of what they do or buy. As for me, I like to go shopping, especially when it is warm outside and I can walk a lot. I like to buy everything, starting with food products and finishing with clothes, furniture or electronic devices. The place I prefer to go shopping is the supermarket or the shopping centers, because there I can find everything I need. You have to think what do you like to do and where do you like to do it. Look at these words and let's memorize. As I have already mentioned before, I, I prefer to go shopping to the shopping center or malls, because there are many departments. The word department means departamento. My favorite department is the footwear. Footwear, encalceminte. I like to try on shoes and light summer sandals. Try on, aproba, light, ushuare. My husband prefers to go to the sportwear department. Sportwear, equipamento sportivo. He sometimes need to wear a tracksuit, that is why he tries the sizes that are on sale or not. Tracksuit, training, size, marime, on sale, la reduce. While we are looking for something we all need, my small son walks absent-minded among the shelves full of children's gloves. Absent-minded. Distract. In the end, we find something for him too, a stylish sweater that is 30% off. Sweater, pullover. 30% off, 30% reduce. So these are the words that we need to know and the expression that are useful to know are to try on, to put on a garment in order to test the fit to be on sale, available for people to buy at a price that is less than the usual price, 30% off, which means products with 30% discounted price. We need to go now to uh, the supermarket and to look at the pictures and the things that we have in the box on our shopping list and tell where we can buy the following things. Boots. Of course, we can buy them in the footwear. The blouse. We can buy in the de cloth department. Sandals in the footwear department. A dress in the cloth department. A skirt, a shirt and a t-shirt can be found in the club department or sportswear. A tie in the club department. Trainers in the sportswear department. Shoes in the footwear. A sweater in the club department. Backpack in the school de supplies department. And a tracksuit in the sportswear department. So these are the things that we can find in different departments. 
For our next activity, we need to use the words from the word bank and complete them at their specific place. Look at them. Let's check. May I try on that green tracksuit? The bag is light. I can carry it myself. These trainers are very cheap. They are on sale. The boxing gloves are on sale. They are 20% off. If you want to buy pens and pencils, you should go to the school supplies department. You are always losing things. You are too absent-minded. Of course, absent-minded we can have, we can be anytime we are not attentive. To do our next activity, you have to read together with me the new dialogue and in the end we have to identify how much Mike's new food sh football shoes are. Be attentive. What's wrong, Mike? Why are you so sad? We are having a competition tomorrow. We are playing football against All Stars team. So what's the problem? I'm afraid I'll not be able to play. I've lost my football shoes, Dad. That's too bad. You shouldn't be so absent-minded. Anyway, you need a new pair of football shoes. Don't you? I guess so. Let's go shopping right now. In the sportswear department. Can I help you? We want a pair of football shoes, please. What size? Size 38, please. Try these shoes on. They are light and comfortable. I think they are great and they are just my size. How much are they? They are on sale. They were 60 pounds and now they are 30% off. We'll take them. Thank you. Here you are. Thank you. Thank you, Dad. So now we'll come back to the question, how much Mike's new football shoes are? According to the text, we see that they are on 30% off and we have to count from 60 pounds 30% off and you'll find out. Next activity. Before going to do it, we need to know some useful shopping expressions. For being a shop assistant and a customer. Let's see some of these expressions that we can use in the shopping department. Can I help you? What can I do for you? Anything else? It's on offer. How much many would you like? Sorry, we are out of would you like to try it on? The fitting room is over there. The dress suits you very well. Pay at the cash desk, Teal, please. Here you are. Here you go. We are welcome. That's 20 euros altogether. Here is your change. And we have the customer's expressions. I need, I'd like please. Where can I find oranges? I'm looking for a jumper. It doesn't fit me. I don't like it. It's too small, big, white, loose, tight or expensive. Have you got this in another size or color? May I try this on, please? Where can I try this on, please? How much is it? That's all. Where is the cash desk? Could I get the receipt, please? Could I get the plastic bag, please? I'm afraid, sorry, I don't have any change. Now, after finding some of the expression that we can use in a conversation, I would propose you to read the instructions and make up your own dialogue, shopping for fruits and vegetables. What are the instructions? So we have the customer's expressions and shop assistant. 
customer, greet the shop assistant, say you want apples, say you want seven apples, say yes and ask the price, and pay and say goodbye. While the shop assistant's expressions should be answer the greeting and offer help, ask how many, ask if you like this, say the price, thank and say goodbye. You have to try to make the dialogue. I have done an example for you. A conversation between the customer and the shop assistant. Good morning. Good morning. What can I do for you? I'm looking for some apples. How many would you like? I think seven apples will be enough. Do you like this? Yes, thank you. How much are they? It's 20 lei altogether. Here you are. Thank you. Here is your change. Goodbye. Goodbye. This is a possible dialect that you can make. Now, further, we need to remember the pronoun. What are the pronouns and especially the possessive pronouns? Pronouns, which is one of the important issues that every person in the English learning process should know, is known as word used in place of a name group as in many languages. Pronouns are preceded in four different groups in English. These are respectively the subject is called pronouns, object pronouns, possessive adjectives and possessive pronouns. Today, we'll clarify the aspect of a possessive pronouns. I propose you an example. This book is my book, not your book. So, if you're looking at this example, we see that the word book is a repeated one and sounds very repetitive, not interesting. Now, let's try to substitute these two books with the pronouns. This book is mine, not yours. Now we see that the word my book and your book was substituted by mine and yours. This sounds more natural now. So, the possessive pronouns show that something belongs to someone. It replaces a possessive adjective plus noun to avoid repeating information that is already clear. I would like you now to look at these two examples. This is my book. We have the singular form. These are my books is the, sec the plural form. My pronoun mine this time is the same. Even we have in the singular or the plural form. Now, this is mine and these are mine. The same possessive pronoun are the same. We don't have any difference between the singular and the plural structures. Now, we can say that mine in the singular and the plural form has no change. If you are looking to this example, we can see that my book is substituted by mine while the plural form is also substituted by the same pronoun mine, that is the correct structure. If we are looking at these examples with S in the end, then you should know that this is not the right form. These are mines is wrong. Don't do this mistake. You have to use mine without S in the end. Now, let's try to compare to see what's the difference be between possessive adjectives when we have the possessive adjective plus a noun and possessive pronoun that is, not, that is followed by no noun. We have an example. This is my book. We have the possessive adjective my that is joined by the noun book. While this is mine, Mine is possessive pronoun. Is this your umbrella? Is this yours? We have the same. Your possessive adjective joined by noun. But while the possessive pronoun 
is having this yes at the end of the sentence. Ha he lent me his jacket. This isn't my jacket. It's his. His is also possessive pronoun. I borrowed her car. The new bag is hers. So hers is having the same as in the end. Do, do you like my doll? These are its clothes. So its is referring to doll. If we're speaking about the possessive pronoun, we don't use its as a possessive one. We have to use it only for possessive adjective. A lot of our friends came to our party. Our is joined or followed by a noun, friends and party, while the possessive pronoun that car is ours is situated at the end of the sentence. Their house is lovely and the possessive pronoun that house is theirs. So we see here the difference between the possessive adjective and possessive pronoun. Any time we have to know that possessive pronouns are situated in the end of the sentence. And it's having this in most of cases, the S in the end. Now, another rule that we have to know is that possessive pronouns can be used in both subject and object position in the sentence. Subject location. Mine is closer than your supermarket. Mine here equals with my supermarket. It is having the function of a subject location. While in the second one, your notebook is more interesting than his, this time his is having the function of an object location. And his equals to his notebook. So we see that possessive pronouns are having different positions and different meaning. Now, to see how well did you understand the new grammar, I would propose you to choose the correct pronoun from the sentences having here. <clears throat> Let's check the answers you have chose. Bob is their or theirs cousin? Of course, it's their cousin. This is our school. It is ours. These are Philip's books. They are his. Green is my favorite color. Is this your ball? No, it isn't mine. So we see here that these two rules, when we have the possessive adjective and we have the possessive pronoun. You did a good job. Let's continue with completing these sentences with the right possessive pronoun. This is his ruler. Where is hers? That is your skirt. Where is mine. These are our shoes. Where are theirs? Those are their trainers. Where are ours? This is her backpack. Where is his? This is my tracksuit. Where is yours? So here in these examples we have used only possessive pronouns. Let's go to the next one. We have here to follow the questions and write about the last shopping. What are the questions? Where did you do the shopping? What did you buy? How much money did you buy? How much did you pay? Now, let's see. What are the answers you can give to these questions. As for me, last time I went shopping was last weekend. 
I went to the supermarket with my little son and my husband. We usually go shopping together because we buy products for the whole week. I bought some pork, fish and poultry, different vegetables like 2 kg of tomatoes and 2 kg of cucumbers, 5 kg of potatoes, 2 kg of carrots, a bunch of broccoli, fruits that my son wanted and was attracted by. He chose 5 bananas, 5 oranges, a coconut, a kilogram of grapes and some red apples. Then we went to the dairy department, where we bought some cheese, butter, sour cream and milk. After we had bought everything we had in our shopping list, we went to the cash desk and paid 300 lei for our purchase. The cashier gave us the receipt and the change and we went home happy. I hope you also have a good job at the supermarket and bought everything you needed. <coughs> <clears throat> to sum up the activities, we can mention that today we have learned new vocabulary words related to the topic shopping and use them in the context, spoke about places we can buy different things, read the dialogue and answered the questions, made up a dialogue, the topic shopping for fruits or vegetables, using the useful expressions, Remember the possessive pronouns and the task we had to complete, wrote about last shopping following the given questions. Remember, we need to go shopping only when we need and we buy only necessary products. Have a nice day and see you at our next lesson.